Hey everyone, my name is Tracy, health coach and personal trainer and founder at highenergygirl.com where we help people over 50 age stronger and healthier instead of sicker and weaker. And today we're going to talk about motivation. So the other day on social media, I took a survey about what is holding you back from achieving your health and fitness goals. And the biggest thing was motivation. And so I started thinking about what motivates me to keep going. And really, truly, the biggest motivator is looking at how my parents aged and how they lived for decades with disease popping pills for symptoms, and not feeling energetic and enjoying their later years. And I was like, I do not want to go down that path. So I'm going to ask you this. In your current situation, if things keep going the way they've been going, and 5, 10, 20 years from now, do you like what you see? I mean, looking at your parents, do you like what you see? If not, something's got to change. It's that whole nature versus nurture concept and a science called epigenetics, which is gene expression. And your genes turn on and off with your behavior. What is more inherited is behavior patterns because we do the things that our parents do because that's what we learned. We want to relearn our behavior and take a different path if we don't want to follow in their footsteps. So for instance, my mom loves sugar and I have seen what it has done to her brain. So I've skipped the whole sugar thing. Same with my dad. He had cancer and the doctors said, it doesn't matter what you eat while I'm telling him to get off the sugar. So I'm just going to ask you, if you look into the future and you don't like what you see, it is not too late to do a 180 and change the trajectory of your health. So how do you do that? Well, the first thing is you have to love yourself. You have to love yourself enough to change so that you can also better love others because it does take a commitment and you're going to have to break down your habits and replace them with something else. I love the term crowding out. So we want to fill our life with so many good habits that it crowds out the bad ones. So the first thing would be to love yourself. Look at yourself in the mirror and make a commitment that you want to age in health so that you can enjoy your 50s, 60s, 70s, and 80s with vibrant energy. And you can do that. It's absolutely possible. The second thing is write down your goals. So if it's not what you see in the future, you want something different, well, what do you want? Identify it. Write down exactly what you want your life to look like in a year or even longer from now. I like to start with a year because it's it's long-term, but it's short-term. So if you were to fast forward a year from now and you were already achieved your goals, what would you be doing? How would you be feeling? What would you look like? How would life be amazing? And write that down. Write it in a vision statement in present tense as if you're already living it. Also, journal your goals daily and make action step. So the first thing would be to journal your top three big goals. And then your second thing is your action steps for that day to help you achieve them. So maybe it's something simple like, I'm gonna go to bed a half an hour earlier. Or maybe it's, I am only gonna eat healthy foods that give me lots of energy. Or I'm going to drink more water today. So, but writing down your overall goals so that they're top of mind and you can remember what you're committed to and then write down your action steps. Next up, you want to read your vision statement because your subconscious mind doesn't know the difference between imagination and reality. It only believes what you feed it. So you want to feed it all the things you want and that also helps with the law of attraction because it's a universal law that what you think about, you bring about. It's all frequency, and we'll talk more about that later. Also, you wanna plan. Plan your week on Sunday, and then plan your day each and every day inside that journal. Plan your food, what you're gonna eat that day. 
your fitness, your workout routine, stretching, yoga, whatever you're going to do, movement, take a walk out in the sunshine. Also, self-care. What are you going to do, again, to love yourself, right? Because you can't pour from an empty cup, and so many of us are running around taking care of everybody else, and then we are the last ones. So you will be able to serve and support others in your family and community if you are already feeling good. And then that way you don't have any resentment. So you make your plan and then you track according to your plan. So you can track your fitness, you can track your food. I love my fitness pal, it's super easy. And then have an accountability partner so that you can, you know, make sure that you are accountable to what you said. So, you know, there's really good health coaches around that would love to help you, or you can find a buddy that has similar goals than you, but an accountability partner is really, really important because oftentimes we'll quit on ourselves, but we're not going to quit on somebody else. And you also want to make it fun. Try new things. Do things that you haven't done before. Like I love hiking a new mountain that I've never been on before because you kind of get lost Make sure you bring a map, (laughs) but it's really fun. Or even in the gym, new exercises or new fitness classes that you've never done before. Who knows, you might find a new favorite. And I love my gym because I love it so much that I don't want to miss a class. Like I'm like, oh my gosh, are they going to do something on a day that I'm not going to be there and then I'll miss it? So you just really want to make it fun so it's something you look forward to doing. So I hope that helped you. There was lots of tips to increase your motivation and keep you committed to the goals that you set for yourself. Please comment below and let me know what your favorite takeaway was. And just remember, you are not too old and it's never too late to do a 180 and change the trajectory of your health, age stronger and healthier instead of sicker and weaker. And we're here to help you do that. So much love to you. Thank you so much for watching. And please like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. Make it a great day.